Okay. Good evening, kids. Dr. Freedom here with you. And I just wanted to share some quick thoughts about an article that popped up not too long ago. Hang on. Let's take a look at it. We'll bring it right up here. This was on the mirror. Uh, former Dr. Who star David Tennant charging fans nearly 100 pounds for his autograph. Now, the, the thing is, it gets me. They don't give the actual figure for one. But if it was 100 pounds, when I ran it through a converter, that's $115 US. Now, it's getting to be a wee bit ridiculous with what's going on these days at conventions. But whatever you do, don't blame the stars themselves. What it is, is that usually these autograph rates are determined by, you know, for one, what the man, you know, the agent wants, you know, out of their cut. Then you got the convention taking their cut, you know, so, and the star does get a little piece of that. But a lot of the big money goes to the man, you know, the, the managing agency and to the convention itself. But it has gotten a little nuts. I just found out recently somebody paid a hundred bucks for John Behrman. Now, as much as I appreciate John Berriman as an actor, artist, and whatnot, and singer, um, Patrick Stewart was through town, I believe it was in 2012, back when I was still living up that way. He was only charging 75 bucks for an autograph, which I gladly paid because, sure enough, he's never been back through here again. I figured, how often is Patrick Stewart going to be coming through town? But it, you know, it has gotten a little crazy, especially with convention rates as they are. Um, I miss the days personally when you went to a convention, everybody paid the same amount of money, everybody got the same show, and everybody got the same good time. But now conventions have pulled these nifty little things called VIP packages where if you slide some more money, oh, look, you automatically get bumped up to the front of the line, you automatically get this, you automatically get that. And for a guy like me, and I have arthritis in both ankles, when you're waiting in line for an hour to see someone and suddenly a group of people who, by the way, have had three day passes, they got to get into the convention an hour before you did because they had VIP passes. They get bumped up to the front of the line, you know, ahead of you. That's kind of disheartening. Um, as I told the guys, I had a really heartwarming moment here not too long ago when Summer Glau came through town and, you know, me and Lady Gallifrey, we waited an hour in line, you know, because basically we hopped in before there was a line. So we were right up front. And, you know, people lined up, started lining up behind us. And then we found out, you know, Summer Glow had to be out of town, you know, on a, in a hurry. And so, you know, she did come out. And like I said, nothing against her. She really, she's a real sweetheart. Really enjoyed talking to her. You know, I couldn't talk her up because I had a bunch of people behind me. But suddenly, as they set up, five people got moved in front of us. And I'm like, it's, you know, what the heck? What about the people who've been standing here? What about people with disabilities? You know, whatnot. I know some conventions do allow for that, you know, even medical passes. But um, there was a guy behind us, and the lady looked over, and she saw he had a VIP pass. He looked up because she goes, you can come up front. And he goes, no, because these people have been waiting here longer. And I thought that was incredible. It gave me you know, goosebumps that, you know, there are still some very, very nice people out there in the world. But sadly, as you've seen, the autograph rates have gone a little nuts. And, and especially like, you know, photo opportunities and whatnot, those getting, you know, because then now you have the convention, the managing agency, and oh, look, the guys who are doing the photos are usually a separate company that works for the convention, and now they're getting their slice. Oh, man. But all I can tell you is, the old saying, let the buyer beware. If you're going to want to go see a star, there's multiple conventions. I, I discovered one down here that has nothing to do with the major comic contours. I won't name the company because I don't need a lawsuit bouncing up and down my head. Because this is the one of the big convention providers you know, I'm talking about that's been doing this. And they're a smaller organization. Their three-day VIP passes are almost half the price of the major one. And I've also been hearing that the the autograph and you know way call and the personal photo ops are a lot lot cheaper. So 
you may want to shop around a bit. You may have to skip that big, huge, mighty convention if, you know, there are certain stars you want to see. And if they're available at another convention, go there. Save yourself some cash. So that's just some quick thoughts on this. Like I say, it, it's just don't blame the stars themselves. Nine times out of ten, they had nothing to do with it. There are a few out there who do, but I, you know, I'm not going to name who. But as I said, just use your head, use your money, you know, spend your money wisely. But otherwise, just go there and have a good time. Anyway. So take care. Catch you guys later.